This is 22. Um, so this one was the rolls and scrolls of like a prolif proliferating pilar cyst. Yeah, proliferating pilar cyst or tumor, proliferating trichelemal tumor, cyst, whatever name you like. Here looks just like a pilar cyst, just like the other ones we've seen. And then within that, you have a proliferation of the lining. And sometimes if you don't see the obvious pilar cyst in the background and you just see this, you might start thinking about squamous cell carcinoma. And some people have proposed that these are all malignant. I, I don't personally believe that. But um, they are very busy and they can look kind of scary sometimes. And yeah, what you tend to see is these, um, these little uh, folds and, and uh, loops of the epidermal stuff kind of, kind of turn in little rolls and scrolls. This one is not as perfect, but it kind of curves and twists around and wraps up that, um, that dense keratin inside um, these little um, swirls and rolls of epithelium. But basically, if you see a pilar cyst, and then a proliferation of bland, glassy keratinocytes growing in the middle of it. That's a proliferating pilar tumor. And in the middle, they can look very busy and almost infiltrative. But if you see the whole border of the tumor, it's actually very smooth on the outside. So if you just get a curette of this, someone thinking it's a cyst or something, it can be really hard to tell for sure that it's a benign thing. But when you can see a bigger um, a section of it and you can see the smooth border, that's helpful. And this is a nice example of keratin granuloma in the middle there. Um, and those look also very similar to cholesterol crystals. Um, they can both make these very nice cleft-like, slit-like spaces with the granulomous backgrounds. Excellent.